Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to put together these pretty easy Venom Oreo cookie pops. I also have another video uploaded on how I put together some Venom cake pops. Alright guys, here are all the things that I used. The candy melting machine with some black candy wafers, some mega stuffed Oreos, double stuffed Oreos works just as well. Um, a foam here, this is what I use to hold my cookies so they can dry. Some black and white royal icing in a medium consistency and uh, number one tips for both. A scribe tool to help me uh, do the details for the eyes. This offset spatula is optional, but you'll see what I use it for. And some uh, lollipop sticks. So you will need all of that to put it all together. Alright guys, so the first thing we will do very easily. About half an inch of chocolate in there, squeeze your cookie, not too hard but firm enough, and squeeze it in there, you can twist it if you like to push it in, see if you can feel it go in at least halfway, and then you can go ahead and set it down and let it dry, or you can um, stick it up here as well, and you can let it set. So I have here one that already set, so we can move on quickly. And um, go ahead and dip it in. Immerse it all in there and cover it up. I like to grab it with uh, two fingers and a thumb and twist it with the, the fingers on the top there and then just spin it. Kind of like a washing machine, just spinning, spinning, and I, I release a lot of the of the candy like that. You can also tap it like this or like this. I like it like this. It um, takes off the candy really quickly. Alright, so now we'll uh, put this in here and let that dry. And then we're going to move on to the next step. And then of course you'll do all, all your cookies. Um, but I'm just doing this quickly. Now this is what I needed my offset spatula for. Uh, I don't like how uh, some of the uh, like channels that you have here, some of the little, I don't know, you would call it a little dip in there from where there's not enough uh, filling in the cookie. Now, that will happen more if you use the double stuff. The mega stuff has more filling in there, so it might be a little full like this, but the double stuff has less filling and you'll, you'll see a little bit of a of a dip in there and I like mine to look very solid like this it looks almost like a hockey puck I like it to be nice and solid so what I like to do is I grab some some chocolate with my spatula and I just uh, kind of like just it's kind of like putting cement between two two uh, bricks I don't know how else to explain it but you would just uh, fill in that gap. All right, so I see, as you see here, I got I got that covered up so it'll be all smooth with the rest of it. All right, let's leave it like that so we can move on. Hey right, guys, as you can see there, it's nice and smooth. It is now ready for the second coat. So we're just going to quickly dip it in here, get it all covered. And again, I just spin it, and there you go. So that gets rid of a lot of the 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 detail that the cookie has, the logo, um, the name of the Oreo, and then now you see that you don't see any uh, extra uh, chocolate that we um, wiped off when we filled in the, the inside of it. So now it looks like a nice hockey puck really smooth and now we can work on it and, and uh, do our detail on it.
All right, guys, I let the icing set and dry a bit. I do recommend leaving them maybe overnight or at least a few hours before you package them so that way um, the icing can completely dry. Um, I like how this uh, came out. Um, I love using the raw icing for these projects because they come out really smooth and you can work very nicely with them. Um, as you see here, I did uh, package uh, some here already just to show you. Uh, these are, I believe, two by threes um, cellophane bags. They're the smallest ones that they have. You can find those at the um, craft store. And um, also, if you're wondering if you can pipe the web first and then the eyes, you can. I just don't recommend it. Your eyes will not be nice and flat like this because you are putting the icing over another icing, and um, it's going to dry a little lumpy. Um, also, you have uh, you run a risk of while you're um, uh, pulling out those little peaks there with your with your tool you run the risk of uh, poking the web lines underneath it and I've done that before I always thought okay I'll do the uh, web first and then pipe the eyes over it it's super simple uh, but then when you're putting this uh, wet icing over some um, icing uh, that is dark like this black uh, you will get some of that black into that white icing and it's going to turn gray and also, I wasn't liking it how it was drying. It was really lumpy. And uh, it wasn't actually, it wasn't easy to um, get those lines out there, um, those little peaks there while you had icing underneath it. So that's why I showed you this way. And I do recommend you uh, piping your eye on a flat surface and then go ahead and do your webbing. With that one uh, number one tip that you'll be using, it, it's small enough to get that uh, uh, detail in, in the center there between the eyes. So don't worry about it, I'm trying to squeeze that in. I know it looked a little hard um, in the video, but uh, it's not hard at all. You can see right there, it's like a really nice detail. And uh, I had no trouble putting that tiny detail in between the eyes. So I do highly recommend doing the eyes first and then the webbing. All right, guys, I will let you go before my time runs out. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one guys.